Welcome, in front of me is a Redmi Note 12 Pro and today I will show you how we can go through the setup of this phone. Now when you boot it up for the very first time you should be presented with this screen right over here. So, press on the arrow and then find your desired language. Moving on to the next page you can then select your region, though for me it already selected a correct one. So I'm going to go to the next page, which allows me to choose my keyboard. Now, ironically, there is only one keyboard, so not much of a choice. The other one is not a keyboard. Google voice typing is not a keyboard. So we can move over to the next one. Terms and conditions. Obviously, no phone can go without them, so you don't need to agree to them to actually be able to use this device. Now you can tap on them actually read what you are agreeing to as you can see nice bedtime story right here and same goes for uh, privacy policy from there select this button right here and go to the next page checking for sim card so it will start scanning if you have a sim card in your device i don't so i didn't find anything so i can go to the next page obviously you can insert a sim card at that point or connect to uh, some kind of wi-fi and if you choose to skip both of them then date and time won't be set automatically and also you won't have the option to log into your Google account throughout the setup process. Both of those things obviously can be changed later on after the setup is completed by just going into the settings. Now from here we have some Google services like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. If you don't like some of them you can simply turn them off and then we can go to the next page which will allow us to set a, select a screen lock. Now we have a couple different methods of protecting our device, that'd be through a fingerprint, face recognition, or pin, pattern, or password. Now, if you're planning to use anything like fingerprint or face recognition, you're also going to be required to select a screen lock, pin, pattern, or password. And the reason for that is, pin, pattern, or password don't really have anything to, well, subject to change. So if, for instance, something happens to you, like your finger or your face, uh, you can still use the physical way of unlocking the device. While if you would be able to just to select one of them and for instance, you catch your finger, uh, boom goes the access to your device. So that's why you have to always select a screen lock. Uh, oh, specifically pin pattern password. Now, obviously, if you're planning to use just like a typical screen lock, one of them, you don't need to use fingerprint or face recognition. And obviously if you don't want to use anything, you can select skip, which is what I will be doing right here. Then we have some basic settings, uh, location. Um, that's I think second time. Uh, first one was from Google. Uh, this one is from Xiaomi. So obviously if you don't like location on, you can turn that off. Moving on, send user and diagnostic data. Again, this one is for Xiaomi because Xiaomi wants to gather data too. Um, Automatic system updates, completely up to you. Uh, next one, personalized aids, I mean ads. Um, so this one is kind of quite scummy. It basically keeps track of what you're searching for and then gives you uh, ads based on well, your interests. But because it kind of creepily always spies on you, AKA China, uh, I just have a, oh, not a good kind of vibe about this setting. So I prefer to turn it off. And additionally, it doesn't help that, for instance, me turning off any other toggle just allows me to do so. But if I try to turn this one off, oh, whoa, whoa, would you look at that? It's a fantastic setting. Stay with it. Yes. And then they also do the reverse psychology because China. So if you want to disable it, make sure you press the turn off, which is on the other side, then what do you usually confirm it with? From there, a couple additional ones, but they're just whatever. So I'm gonna go to the next page. Set up screen lock, uh, or not screen lock, lock screen. Uh, this is basically what they're calling, I think, a wallpaper carousel. It cycles through a bunch of pre-selected wallpapers for by Xiaomi. So every time you wake up your display by pressing the power button without actually unlocking the device, it just shows you some different wallpaper from their selection. Now these wallpapers range from anything from like animals and whatever you have right here to things like furniture uh, or architecture. So if you're not a fan of like just having constantly random wallpapers show up, 
then you probably might want to skip this one. Now moving on to the next one, we have a uh, home screen layout. So we have either the classic, which just has all the applications on the middle of your home screen, which uh, is classic, but for iPhones, not for Androids. For Androids, classic would be this one, which is the app drawer, which allows you to pull up in an app drawer with all the apps located in there alphabetically, uh, while your home screen can be nice and clean with only like selected applications, which is what I will stick with. And this looks like it finishes up the setup. So let's just click on the button, uh, let it load apps, which apparently didn't have time to do before. And shortly, we should be presented with our home screen. And there we go. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.